Right guys, this is a, just a number of clips put together of the rehousing of the spiders and whatever I got in the box uh, the other week. Uh, for some reason I deleted the Lazio Sano Sazamai clip, I don't know why, I don't know how I've managed to do that, I don't know. It's just disappeared, but uh, I say all of this are there, so put them all together for your enjoyment, hopefully you just, can, you just like it and have a bit of a laugh, especially at the end one. Alright, cheers guys. Alright guys, I'm going to rehouse these two mantises now. I already had two enclosures built up for them. Uh, two pots, mantis pots, which I got from TSS. Uh, put a bit of spagger moss and uh, I think it's spider life, tropical soil or, or something in them. Uh, usually an inch or so, a couple of inches gives you holds that uh, humidity levels you need. So this is the Herodula Patel Ifera and the Filiocrania Paradoxa uh, the Ghost Mantis and the Giant Asian. I'm going to do the Ghost Mantis first because the Ghost Mantis looks like I don't know whether he's struggling but he looks like he possibly needs to come out. First, so we'll we'll do him first. Uh, as you can see, here, here he is. See if I can go on my finger. Come on, pal. Come on. That's okay. See he's going on my finger. So he's going up so like any insect. They try and get height. So uh, we'll put them in here. Let's see. It's okay. It's quite lively as well. I'm trying to see if we can let, let go of my finger. Let's go on there. So he's actually in the pot now. So he might be okay. So he's in. I hope you'll have a little bit of an explore now. Have a little look around. So that's cool. That looks that looks awesome, that one. We'll get better pictures of that because they, they look so alien like the ghost mantises. They just they are just built to look at. I've got some fruit flies and bean weevils and that I can put in with them for in in for them in a bit. Uh, a little bit of a snack. This is malt. There's malt from him. So he's, I think she said he's malted just before he comes. So he's doubled in size really since I got him today. But he's got a couple of perch anchor points there which you always need for them to be able to climb up and molt from or hunt. So that is him done. Now let's do the other one which is the giant Asian. He was also quite big. Really, he looks quite, quite lively as well, that one. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. It's okay. Alright, come on. Well, he'd have to go on the opposite hand, wouldn't he? Come on. He'd have to go on the opposite hand. Div. Come on, not that way. I'm trying to get him down. And he's just bombing it. He's just tanking it, look, he's defend being defensive. If you get down there, look. There's twigs and everything there. Alright, we put him in. He's gone on the other underside of that piece there in his tub, so we've got him in as well, so that's all him set up. As I say in a bit we'll give him a bit of some fruit flies, uh, fight the fruit flies and some bean weevils and see if you'll have a chomp on a couple of them. Should do like, look here he is right at the top again. Have a little look around, so that's them two done guys, so that's awesome, made up with them. They just, they, they're just another one of those creatures, which is just the, 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 the thing about them, they're just awesome aren't they? I know they're, I know they're not long lived animals but 
they're just really cool, I think. And a, a good staple in the Invert hobby. Alright guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye. Alright guys, this is a quick housing video of Bracky Pelma from Morai. Uh, what it is, because they've already been on a, a long journey, more conscious of the fact of the spider's well-being rather than me making YouTube content. So I've already done the enclosure, well I've just done the enclosure now, prepared it before the spider goes in. Uh, so here's the spider here. Nice little, nice little size of Dave's Beasties, which Amy picked up from me from Taunton, which is awesome. And it looks cool, look. I have a block boss. Uh, I'll actually put some gloves on as well, maybe, to stop the hairs, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't kick any hairs with a bit of luck. But we'll just have a, have a look at him. It's okay, mate. It's okay. And it is here. It's alright, this way. Go on. Come on, pal. Come on, let's see. Come on, this way. Come on. You're alright, mate. Come on. Oh. He locked himself down. He's a bit weary, but he'll be fine once he's in, I think. Come on, that's it. Come on, you're in. Come on, you're okay. Come on, get down. Get down, come on. Now, get down. Are you okay? There he is, look straight. He's gone straight into the hide there. Straight into the car park hide, which is cool. So, that's what I wanted. Uh, nice and easy one. Just a little crit, crit, a tiny critter keep, keeper, which I'll do for now. Small critter keeper for for the size. Uh, didn't want to get put them in nothing too big. Still got a couple. Still have a couple of molts in this before need, needing to be rehoused. I think, but yeah, that's the first one of nine done. As you can see, that looks, he's in there, I don't know if you can see him, possibly not. A little water ball in there, a few bit of leaves, bit of, bit of spag and moss, go up our hide. Can see room from a couple of inches there from the burrow, so that's cool. Uh, oh, also, I'm going to call him probably Indy or Indiana after a Indiana Jones film when I first seen Mexican Red Knees in a film, so. Right, cheers, guys. One down, eight to go. Operation Bumblebee. Right, this one. Is the... Pseudo Hapalophus SP Columbia. Or Bumblebee Jumping Spider. So we're going to have a look at this little guy. See if we can get him in his enclosure. He's at the edge there, look, see. He's already trying to get out. So we're going to see if we can... Coax him to get in to his enclosure. First, make sure he's in there. Okay, little pal. Come on. I need possibly a paintbrush to maybe coax him out. Come on. Should have thought of that first. Come on, pal. Right, what we'll do is just take this tissue off with the monitor, I think. There he is, look how cute he is. Look, can you see him? He's just in there, look. There he is. Boss little fella. Hopefully, not speaking too much. Just roll your out, little mate. There it is. Hopefully, you should like this enclosure. Need a bit of luck. Come on, pal. Here he is. So he's all done as well. He's in now. And look, 
what I was saying to before to a couple of the girls, you'll go for the smallest space about you and hide in the smallest nest. So he can have a good explore in that now because that'll do him until he's an adult. Uh, possibly got one or two molts. Maybe cause he's not that big. Probably possibly got one or two molts until he gets there. But he'll have a good rummage around there. So that's him done. So I'll catch you in a bit when I'm doing. Start on the tarantulas. Okay, guys. I'm so I'll try and do some feeding video. I'll probably have actually even some stuff later as well. Okay, guys. Cheers. Again, I've already done the enclosure. This is a quick rehousing of the Cirrhopopeus sp hatty hatty. Uh, hopefully, it plays ball. That was actually actually pretty good. I am the master. And that was the Cirrhopagosus SP Hatty Hatty. All done again. Enclosure prepared before rehousing because. I'm aware of the fact that they've been out, out and about for a while, so I wanted to make sure I had it done. So, he's in anyway. So, catch you in a bit again, guys. Right, right guys, there's a quick rehousing video of a curly hair or two little cattle, Arbor Palacios. Uh, quite a small little sling, so you can see it there. There he is, he's quite small really. Uh, so this enclosure should do it for about twenty-five volts. Being a bit sarcastic there, aren't I? But should do it for ages to be honest. I'm gonna try and get this little guy to go into here. Uh, here he comes, he's coming out. Come on, you little fart. He's in there somewhere. I oh, know there he is. He's on the pot. He's on the pot, isn't he? Let me get him off. Come on, get on there. Not yet back in it. I think he's just went under the claw park then. Can't see him, so I'm presuming he has. Just not towards us, didn't he? He just went and hid there. Maybe he's there, maybe. I know there he is there, he's on the edge there, look, he's in the spag and moss. Yeah, precautionary because he is so small. Uh, I won't be putting in a water dish because dampness of the spag and moss would do him enough. So, yeah, I'll err on the side of caution there. Okay, alright, cheers guys. Alright guys, another quick rehousing of a Tilcolatl Tilcolatl Vegans uh, Again, the slings are only small so as you can see it in there only small, the enclosure probably is possibly too big for it but I'm only going to give them small feeders so hopefully they'll be okay uh, in now, you can get all sorts of it. There it is, straight away, straight away on today. Little fella, as I say, 
need them small feeders, I think. No water this again as precaution. Just put water on the spag and moss so we can have a drink off from there. Yeah. Again guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Alright. Alright guys, another one. Uh, this is a Cotiana Bruna Peas or Dwarf Pink Tarantula. It's my it's minute, it's like 0.5 centimetres. So it'll be thought it prudent just to put it back in the sling pot that I can't come in. Again, obviously no water bowl, just put a bit of, bit of moisture in there. Uh, hopefully it goes in first time, but obviously not sure. It's, it's tiny, but made a starter burrow for it with a bit of bit of the paintbrush. Hopefully it likes that. So it, and it would do that. Put this in there. Yeah. Oh, it's went in, so I'm gonna put the lid on that. But it's got, that's got a starter, but I was just over here. Yeah. Should hopefully go down. I can just put a little tiny drop of water on the bag of moss at the top there. Yeah, it's found the starter hole. And a bit of water there. It's still there on the top, but it's okay if it's in anyway. And that'll be staying in that probably for the foreseeable for quite a while. Quite a few moats because it's, as I say, it's minute. It's literally there, there, there. I think you can see it there. On the edge, it's tiny. So. That'll be staying in that for now. Alright guys, cheers for that. Another one guys, this is a rehousing of a Salmopeus Emania or Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Uh, we got the enclosure. Put them leaves there like that to sort of give it shelter to run into. You should do is there. So we've got actually a couple of little choices to run under the leaves, so hopefully now we're running away. And just go straight in. And there he is guys, look, in on the edge. Is he going to go down the tunnel? I don't really want to take the chance of him getting out, so... I'm very well behaved, all these. He's just there on the edge, look. So he's... Pretty chilled. Really. It's been a successful morning of putting things in tubs. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for that. I might call him uh, Klopp after the Liverpool manager. and miss is watching on the side now. Alright, cheers. So, Alright guys, this is the final one. Uh, the Troculus Marinus, i.e. the infamous OBT. Hopefully, like all the others, He's a good boy, or girl, whatever it may be. And there he is, right on the back of that bit of tissue there. See? So what I've done is, I've put a couple more leaves down the side of the, of the court park, but the hope, in the hope that he runs for the cover of where the leaves are with a bit of luck and doesn't try and run on onto me. So he's there. Uh, see if we can I 
That's a good boy. You being a good lad. No, don't go back in. Ow. Come on then. Uh, there's loads of webbing in here, so. It's probably time to web myself up a bit, but. Still got to try and get them out. I don't really want to take the tissue out because obviously I know the reputation, so. Being bolty. So we'll just try and hopefully ease them out. Yeah, with a bit of luck. Come on, mate. Come on, it's okay. Come on, look, nice, look, nice new home, look. Ooh, look. Bit of a poo yourself moment for me. Right. That was different, wasn't it? Go away, whoever that is. Go away. Go back upstairs now. I don't care. Go back upstairs. Right. Why do you have to do this, little OBT? You could be a good boy, couldn't you? Huh? Could have been a good boy. Mm. A bit of a pain this one. Not that I've got a massive. Come on, you're gonna go in. Go in. Just get in, you little shit. Come on, get in. That's that one in. Fuck, thank fuck for that. <sighs> I'll have to bit of runny runny, chasey chasey. Yeah, ploppy pantsy. It went in. So there we have it, guys. Okay, catch you later.